Hi Capricorn, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of May the 30th to June the 6th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing my videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people requesting readings from me into my circle and blessings to all my return clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I welcome and invite you to go to my website. And that is www.brendatero.info. See you soon, my friends. We start our week on Monday, Capricorn, with a major card. And you, my friend, have been given the lovers. Well, the lovers are all of the, the, the lover card, lovers card is all about communication being key with your partner and an individual that you're in a relationship. It is about intimate relationships and that you need to carefully weigh your decisions. And and, and keep, your, uh, keep your mind open and uh, realize that this is a walk down your path, hopefully, for a lifetime. And so it's very, very important that you're able to develop trust and communicate with each other and uh, keep yourself balanced mentally and emotionally for this decision. Um, this card is basically about marriage and weddings, but it's also the card of good uh, return to good health. On Tuesday, you've been given a fire card, and fire cards have to do with setting our dreams and our passions and our thoughts into motion. Uh, sometimes it can have, be involved around a little bit of adventure or risk taking, but it is definitely about self development. And this is telling me that you really, really, really need to focus on an issue at hand right now. And to be able to do this, you'll be able to communicate with vision. They show me that you have leadership qualities. They show me that you're able to step up on your platform and to take control of this situation. You will be receiving some advice from a very mature male individual. He'll be motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and quite charismatic. He is going to give you advice uh, and help you out with this situation. And he's very, very creative, this individual. On Wednesday crowning your week, you have been given a water card and water cards have to do with relationships in our lives and the people uh, that are involved in those relationships with us, sometimes intimate and romantic, other times not. This particular card says that there is a relationship that you're in and it's going to develop to a new level. Trust your own intuition with this, my friend, okay? It's all about how you care for each other that's going to uh, make this develop, uh, come to pass and develop to that new level. Three of air for Thursday. Air cards have to do with the injustice and those types of issues that we don't like to deal with. And often they are legal issues and lawyers and so on. It tells me that some of you have been dealing with these types of situations and issues and now they show me great sadness. You're not yourself. You're really down and you're really, really sad right now. You need to take time to heal and do it at your own pace. We all heal differently. Um, know that in order to heal that there is some forgiveness that you either have to forgive others and or uh, yourself. On Friday, you've been given the Hermit card, and the Hermit card is all about spending time alone. It's necessary right now. It's about being in your own company and listening to your own inner voice and what it is you want. Often, meditation is essential to do this. It's about spiritual teaching and you perhaps um, imparting some of your wisdom to others and sharing your wisdom with other people. Uh, it's going to be part of your own spiritual path, your own spiritual journey right now. This is about self-discovery, my friend, and also about maybe being a mentor for others. Great card for Saturday. You have received the star. This is all about believing in yourself, believing in your own dreams, and looking optimistic towards that. Um, there's a brighter future on the path for you, and you're on target right now. Have faith in your own new beginning. It's going to be prosperous. Know that right now you're on the right path. It's about happy times. 
On Sunday, the end of the week, another water card, Six of Water. This is telling me that some of you are sitting there and you're reminiscing and you're daydreaming about your past, all the way back, some of you, to your childhood. And that's okay. Now, with others, it shows me that you are actually, in the physical world, dealing right now with issues surrounding children, regarding children in your life right now. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate and include that one oracle card to tie in your tarot reading. And I chose the Ascended Masters again. This particular card you got, my friend, freedom. Look at that. So basically, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Free yourself. Do, it, do what it is that brings you your peace and your bliss and your joy. Uh, if you're choosing to walk away from a relationship, take a deep breath of fresh air and move forward on that path. This is the freedom card to do what it is that makes you feel good, makes you feel happy, brings you your peace. I wish you a great remainder to today, Capricorn, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I chose another quote. The quote I chose today is, you are today where your thoughts have brought you. You will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you. Keep them positive, my friend. See you again next week, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of life for you, Capricorn.